Hi there, welcome to Tech Center. This is Josh and I'm going to introduce you to use the brush tool and line tool in Paint 3D. If you want to watch a full tutorial on Paint 3D, I've put a link in the description box below so you can watch the video. Before we jump into the video, please subscribe and click the notification bell to receive future videos from my channel. If you haven't already watched my previous video about editing an image in Microsoft Paint, I've put a link in the description box below so you can watch the video. Now I'm going to introduce you to use the brush tool and line tool in Paint 3D. First of all, I'm going to open Paint 3D from the Windows Programs list. Click Start, and then on Paint 3D. Now that Paint 3D is open, I'm going to open a new blank project by clicking on New. I'm going to click on it. Here you can see a new blank canvas. I'm going to start by drawing on the canvas by left clicking and dragging. Left click and drag. You can see that the pen color is blue. So that is the default pen color. That we can change the color over here at the bottom of this sidebar. So here is the color palette. Here is the colour that is currently selected, here is the eyedropper tool, and here is where you can add custom colours. I'm going to create my own custom colour by clicking on the plus. Here you can see a colour picker. In the colour picker you can see a colour field. Below that you can see a colour ribbon where you can choose a colour by left clicking and dragging. And in the top right corner you can see a box with the selected colour so whenever we change the colour the selected colour will also change so if I change it I'm going to change it to this green you can see that the colour in this box has changed we can also increase the intensity and decrease the intensity of the colour to do this, we have to move it up or down towards one of the corners. So if we want it to be more intense, we have to bring it down. You can see that the colour is more intense. If you want it to be less intense, you have to bring it more towards the top left hand corner where it is close to white. I'm going to bring it back to where it was in the beginning, back to its original colour. And then I'm going to click on OK. You can see the custom colour has been made. I'm going to click on the custom colour to select it. You can see that the custom colour has been selected in this box. I'm going to click and drag to draw with that colour. Left click and drag. You can see that this time I drew with green. The pen that we're drawing with right now is called the marker. There are nine more types of brush tools. So, for example, the oil brush. If we left click and drag with the oil brush, you can see that it has a different texture. If we have the eraser, you can erase some part of the brushes. So, if you made a mistake, you can rub it out. So, if I rub out this line, by left clicking and dragging you can see that I am erasing it. Another type of brush tool is the fill bucket tool. So if we click on it I'm going to fill in this blue square with some gold. So I'm going to click on the gold colour in the colour palette. You can see that gold has been selected now I'm going to click inside of this square to colour it in. You can see that it is gold on the inside and it has a blue outline because we drew the blue outline at the start and we just filled it in with gold. If you're filling in a shape that is not closed then the colour that you're filling it in with will also spill out onto the rest of the canvas. Let me show you that. I'm going to click on the marker pen 
I'm going to choose the color black to draw with it and I'm going to draw a triangle which is not closed left click and drag you can see that the shape is not closed this is a big gap and if I go back to the fill bucket tool and I choose a color like red and I try and fill the inside of this triangle it will fill the rest of the canvas let me show you that you can see that the rest of the canvas is red this is because the triangle was not closed you can see that the gap is over here now let me undo this command to do that I have to go to the toolbar and I have to click on undo you can see that it has been undone now let me close the triangle and fill it in with red so I'm going to click on the marker tool again and I'm going to change back to black and I'm going to left click and drag to close the shape now I'm going to go back to the fill bucket tool and I'm going to select red again I'm going to fill in this triangle by left clicking in it you can see that the triangle is now filled in with red I'm going to move on to the 2D shapes tool because I'm done with the brushes tool I'm going to click on 2D shapes tool you can see that the commands in the sidebar have changed at the top you can see four commands they are all for lines and curves I'm going to start with line by clicking on the line command I'm going to left click and drag to draw a line you can see that I can adjust its length and its direction by left clicking and dragging if I let go of left click it will stop moving about and I can adjust even more you can see that there are two grip points at the end of the line I can use these to change the direction and the length of the line so to do that I can choose any of these I'm going to choose this one, the one on the left I'm going to left click and drag I'm going to move it so it's like a diagonal line you can also adjust its width and height by using these grip points on the outline box I'm going to make it larger by left clicking and dragging on the corner grip point over here I'm going to use the center grip point to make it slightly smaller I'm going to click and drag on this line to move it about the canvas I'm going to move it over here now if we want multiple copies of this line or we want to keep on adjusting this line according to its current position then we have to click on stamp so a copy of this line will be stamped onto the canvas otherwise if you just want to put this line on the canvas just as a single line click on the commit button I'm going to click on stamp now if I move the line out of the way you can see that the line has been stamped on the canvas we can still move this line about but the other one has been stamped so if we move this over here we can stamp it again if we start moving it again we can also adjust it and then stamp so if I adjust it so it's like this I can stamp it again you can see that it has been stamped I'm going to click on commit now I'm going to move on to the curves there are three types of curves three point curve four point curve and five point curve so the three point curve is just basically a curve with three points four point curve and five point curve are similar I'm going to click on the three point curve I'm going to left click and drag to draw it you can see the curve I'm going to make the curve like this you can adjust the curve you can adjust how high it is how much you want to curve it by using these three get grip points so I'm going to make it slightly more curved by moving the grip points on the ends of the arc 
I can also move the center grip point by left clicking and dragging. I'm going to stretch it a little bit. You can stamp again with this tool. We can left click and drag on the line and not on the grip points to move the arc about the canvas. So if I stamp it, you can see that it has been stamped. Again, we can change it and stamp it again. I'm going to left click and drag. I'm going to stamp it. Now I'm going to click on commit. Now I'm going to use the four point curve. I'm going to left click and drag to draw it. You can see that it has a different shape to the three point curve. But again, we can adjust it by using these four grip points in the four point arc. So we can click and drag on the arc to move it about the canvas. I'm going to adjust the grip points right now. So I'm going to make it a similar shape to what it was in the three point curve. I'm going to left click and drag. It's a similar shape now. I'm going to stamp it on the canvas. If I move this out of the way, you can see that it has been stamped. If we want, we can also change its width and height by using the grip points on the outline box. So, like this. I'm going to click on commit. Now I'm going to show you the five point curve. I'm going to left click and drag. You can see that the five point curve is basically having five grip points. So we can also adjust it by using these grip points. So if I left click and drag, I can make it different shapes. And if I want to, I can change its width and height by using the grip points on the outline box. So to show you that, I'm going to move this into a more visible place by left clicking and dragging. So I'm going to bring it outside of the canvas. And I'm going to use the grip points on the outline box. I'm going to make it shorter. And I'm going to make it slightly wider. I'm going to click and drag on this shape to move it across the canvas. And I can stamp it like before. And I can also commit. I'm going to stamp it once and I'm going to slightly move this grip point I'm going to move the arc back and I'm going to click on commit I'm going to save this file and I'm going to open a new one I'm going to click on menu and then I'm going to click on save I'm going to save it in this PC and in my documents folder I'm going to double click on documents. I'm going to call this file sample file one. And then I'm going to click on save. Now that I've saved the file, I'm going to close paint 3D. In my future videos, I'll be posting tutorials on Paint 3D and how to make games in Python. I hope that this video was helpful for you. If you like this video, please smash that like button and share it to your friends and family. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please click the red subscribe button below so you can watch the video. If you have any questions or comments about this video, or if you'd like to get links to all of my previous videos, please contact me via email at 4 at gmail.com. I've put a link in the description box below. See you in the next video.